Hi, I'm Katie Peake, current vice president of the board of the El Dorado Community Foundation. Almost 30 years ago, I was proud to participate in the process of starting a community foundation to benefit the communities of El Dorado County. As the first board president of the El Dorado Community Foundation, I served alongside a group of very dedicated individuals, and we succeeded in building the cornerstone of what has become an important and critical source for giving and knowledge for all of El Dorado County. I share a deep appreciation to all the individuals who have served on committees of the foundation over the many years. It is because of them and the thousands of donors to the foundation that I am here once again as a board member to say thank you and introduce you to the 2020 Immunity Report. Hi, I'm Dan Stazak, and I'm president of the El Dorado Community Foundation. And my role as president is to work with a talented team of board members who provide oversight and support to help the foundation meet its goals and objectives as a group. It is my pleasure to introduce the rest of the board members of the El Dorado Community Foundation. Kathleen Peake, Vice President. Mike Barsati, Treasurer. Jana Ellerman, Secretary. Shelby Bennett, Wendy David, Ed Manansella, Pam Maxwell, David Orr, Alan Priest, and Brian Beerkamp. In addition to board president, I also serve as the chair of the Finance Committee. The Finance Committee provides financial oversight and advice to the foundation to ensure that it has sufficient financial resources to meet its goals and objectives as an organization. And now we'll look at those financial statements in more detail. The balance sheet for the foundation at the end of 2020 shows a total assets of slightly over 25 million. It is the first time the foundation has reached this milestone in its existence. Its net assets sit currently at $25,300,000 at the end of last year. An important component of our balance sheet is our endowment pool. Our endowment is now at $18,997,000. Through our advice with our financial partners and advisors, our endowment continues to grow. Our profit and loss statement showed revenues in 2020 of $11,110,000. And this included close to $8 million in donations and gifts of which $5 million was administered by the Foundation through funding with the CARES Act of 2020. Our revenues and excessive expenses, or our net income, was $2,691,000 for 2020. Now this also included $2,072,000 in unrealized gains on invested monies in our endowment fund. I am Kathy Haven, a mom of three teenagers, a wife of 20 years, a community volunteer for many nonprofits in El Dorado County, a teacher in Tahoe's only garage school this year due to the pandemic closures, and of course, the El Dorado Community Foundation Program Coordinator. For 2020, our competitive grant cycles dispersed almost $600,000. The impact of these amounts showed just how powerful collective giving circles can be when a lot of people each contribute a little. So, if we look at these contributions through the lenses of focus areas or areas of need, roughly 20% of the funds went directly to COVID relief through small business grants and nonprofit assistance. Grants in the areas of youth and poverty, housing and basic needs received 15% each of our total funds. While grants in the areas of mental health, veterans and education received about 10% of the total funds. Scholarships for high school students also contributed almost 50,000 to this total. What the graph really shows is how balanced our funding was this past year, a year of inconsistency and stress for many. I'm Lois Roberts, the Donor Services Coordinator for the Foundation. I have the unique pleasure of assisting donors as they create their individual impacts on our communities and the efforts that our 
undertaken in a variety of areas defined by the donors and to areas that are particular to their interests. As a liaison to the donor community, I'm afforded the opportunity to hear their stories that so often define their giving as they match purpose with their passion. With over 12,000 donors, the giving provided by this diverse group of individuals and families represent the spectrum of El Dorado County and highlight who we are and what impact these gracious and generous people make. The spectrum of their giving is large, as you can see, and highlighted by the outpouring of support during a pandemic that challenged survivability and maintaining our place, a place where we care. The highlights of donor distributed grants for 2020 are coronavirus relief, supporting individuals and families, paying bills, putting food on the table and keeping a roof over their heads, over $228,000. For education, over $211,000. For helping mental health, over $218,000. Community support to our nonprofits and community programs, over $236,000. The total that was distributed in non-competitive grants, grants directed by our donors, totaled $1,473,993. To them, our deep appreciation, admiration, and it is an honor to serve their purpose. Hi, I'm Avis Jolly. I joined the El Dorado Community Foundation last summer after years of volunteering and working for local nonprofits, ranging from my children's school's parent-teacher organizations to El Dorado County Ag in the Classroom and 4-H. Before that, I worked for seven years as a program manager at Intel's Folsom campus. I'm excited to join the foundation as its impact officer and put this experience and knowledge to work for the groups and organizations in our community. As the foundation mission states, our dedication is in serving those in need through the direct support of community and organizations who passionately give to the benefit of all. Direct support goes well beyond the dollars our community entrusts us to do good with. It extends to supporting the organizations and persons who are doing the good. This ranges from supporting a group who has an idea or cause they are passionate about and don't know where to start, to an established nonprofit who is struggling with an issue. I am excited about the efforts we have launched in my first six months with the foundation. This includes resources and consulting for some newly launched efforts in our community. This ranges from homelessness and affordable housing to community gardens which will be cultivating the youth in their development, mentally and emotionally. Through the journeys we are taking with these groups, we are developing the Building a Better Nonprofit program. This program will provide courses and materials that enable our nonprofits to flourish, whether they are on the ground floor, just getting started with an idea, or they've been serving the community for several years and have stalled either in their donor development or need expanding in their communication plans and hence their reach within the community and ride the elevator to the penthouse of success. Nonprofits or those who have a passion to serve our community play a crucial role in El Dorado County. And I am excited to partner and elevate their efforts and ultimately our community. Hello, I'm Bill Roby, the executive director of the El Dorado Community Foundation. At this moment, I join you with my colleagues. All of us here work at the foundation every single day to build community. 2020 was undoubtedly a challenging year for us, a year in which we as a foundation met that challenge. We did it with the board of directors, with community, and with our donors. I hope you've enjoyed our 2020 community report and that you have some insight into who we are as a foundation and thank you for taking the time to review what we have done and the achievements that we have accomplished. Thank you.